What's up ghouls, it's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY video and I'm super excited because I rarely do DIY videos on my channel. Um, but it's something that I want to do more of. I just don't really have a lot of time to do these things. But now I have more time because I finished uni so I can get to DIY. So if you would like to see more DIY videos, hit the subscribe button so you can see them when they appear and hit the like button so I know that it's something that you guys are interested in. So for today's DIY video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I have done the, or put up, created, I don't know, the um, Stranger Things wall. So it's from season one when Will's mom is trying to communicate with him and she creates almost like a Ouija board on the wall, but the communication set of a planchette is through um, Christmas lights, which she's strung up throughout her whole house. So um, in the film, she, in the film? In the TV show, she paints directly onto her wall, which you guys definitely could do if you, I don't know, like own a home, have permission from your parents, whoever you live with, whatever. But I am renting and I don't want the hassle of painting over it when I leave. So I have opted for paper. But obviously this isn't like a strict tutorial. You can branch off and do whatever the hell you want. I'm going to start off with the supplies that you need to do this DIY. So, the first thing you are going to need is the paper to do your letters on. Um, I would recommend using card as opposed to paper because it's more A, it's more durable and B, if you've got like a really dark wallpaper colour, the wall might show through if you've got like really thin paper and it won't look very good. So I have opted for card. You also need to decide the size that you want your lettering to be, whether you're gonna want A4 or A5. Um, I, to test this, I put up a row of A5 paper and a row of A4 paper to see kind of what fit best with my wall. And because my wall is partitioned, um, it's only half a wall that I'm doing it on. The A5 looked a lot better because A4 was just too much for that small space. So A5 was better for me. Depending on what card you buy, you may need some form of guillotine or scissors. So my card was A4 size, so I had to cut it down, so I needed scissors. You're then going to need something to draw on or paint on your card with. So I opted for paint. This is just like some cheap black acrylic paint I bought from a local craft store. It's only a pound. Um, I thought paint because she paints it onto the wall so it will still have the paint vibe, it just won't be directly on the wall. Um, you then also need a paintbrush, I don't know where mine has gone, obviously you guys all know what a paintbrush looks like. I picked a really cheap paintbrush that was rather large because it gave, I don't know how well you guys can be able to see, um, a kind of really messy look to it. It wasn't, it's not perfect because in the film obviously she's I would keep calling it a film. In the TV show, she's desperate to speak to her son, so she's rushing, um, so it's really sloppy and messy, so I wanted to keep that kind of vibe, so that's why I picked like a crappy paintbrush. Then you're going to need something to um, attach your letters to the wall, so I'm just going for blue tack. This is like the white version, but whatever, the colour is fine, I'm not gonna see it. <laughs> You're then going to need some Christmas lights. So I got these from Asda. These are 50 bulb lights. So obviously I only need like 26. So I'll just have to do some kind of decorative thing around the edge. Um, and these are the like the multicolored ones. These are the closest thing I could find to um, what she uses in the film. So I'm very excited. So I got these around Christmas time, but I'm sure you can buy Christmas lights online all year round. Um, I'll try and link some below that are similar to these. Then you're going to need some way of attaching the lights to your wall. So I'm opting for nails. Ooh, does that go blurry or am I dizzy? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> nails and hammer. My hammer's from Ikea and my nails are from Asda. You get like 230 in there, so I'm just going to be using those. Again, ask permission from your parents if you're still live at home before you start, you know, knocking things into the wall because they might get mad. So yes, I think that's everything. Only other thing that you may need is an extension cord, depending on where you want to place your lights on the wall. There may not be a plug socket close by, so you may want a extension cord. So this is just one that I bought from Asda. It's like a really long one. Uh, so yeah, five meter cable, and it was only like five pounds, so 
yes, this is a fairly cheap DIY to do. I mean, it's literally like card Christmas lights paint. It's really, really cheap. I think I've done this for like under 20 pounds. So um, yeah, it's really cheap. And you can always do this just for Halloween if you want to like spookify your home, or you could do it year round like I'm gonna do, um, just to add some cool shit. So, um, if you want to find out how to create the spooky Stranger Things wall, then keep watching. First thing I've done, sorry it's going to be really accurate in here because like, I'm in a small room. Um, first thing I've done is clear any of the furniture out of the way so nothing gets knocked over or ruined. So usually I've got like a bedside table and shit. That's all moved out of the way. And then, <clears throat> second thing I've done, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Second thing I've done is um, plug in my extension cord already, so it's going like half the room. So that's all done. So we don't need to like move loads of stuff around. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and start popping up my letters. Who, um, for reference, I've got a photo up just on Google of what the wall looks like. So I'm going to be following that um, as a guide. So to begin with, I'm going to take the so there's three rows, I think it's like eight, nine, and nine letters. So I'm taking the middle letters of each row and putting those up first so I can work outwards so that it all flows right. I think that's the most logical way. I don't know, I'm not very logical. We'll find out. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the bottom row and then work up so that I can decide whereabouts I want everything to sit from that one letter. I don't know if I'm making sense here. I'm trying my best. Why am I so sure? Um, so obviously we've got top row, middle row, bottom row. Um, there was a, an even number of letters on the Top row, so I've got like two from a point. So I'm just going to build out from either side and fill in the rest of the letters. Okay, so I've popped all the letters onto the wall. Quickly had to go through the alphabet just to make sure that I have actually put them in the right order. Imagine if I put them in the wrong order, that'd be incredibly embarrassing. So the next stage is to do the uh, Christmas lights. I've undecided exactly how I want to do it. So I'm going to stop for a minute, check through like photos and stuff and make up my mind. Guys, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. This DIY is not for the faint hearted because the struggle of untangling Christmas lights should be dealt with once a year in December. I have no desire to be untangling Christmas lights in June. Anyway, I've done it, I've solved it. I'm gonna cocoon my tartars. Right, I'm gonna start popping the lights in. Um, due to the framing of the video, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see me doing the top part. But either way, you'll see me doing the rest of it. So I'm not going into this with any set intention or plan. I'm just gonna fucking go for it. So if it goes tits up, then who knows? Okay, let's do this.
I need a stall because I'm not tall enough, BRB. Oh. So this would be so much easier if Jake or my dad were here to do this for me, but I'm persevering. Let this be a lesson to us all. We do not need a man. Okay, so I have attached the, uh, the Christmas lights to the letters, I just put in nails as and where I needed them um, so that they'd go over the letters. Um, some of the letters could do be moved a little bit, like that doesn't obviously touch it properly but I can move those things around afterwards. I also found that because my Christmas lights were 50 bulbs, um, I obviously have a lot left over because I'm 26, so I've draped some across the bottom here and then the rest, there's only like 10 or whatever, they'll just drape down the side of the bed and my bedside table is going to cover them anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. So the next thing to do is to turn it on and see how good it looks. is the finished DIY. Isn't it cute? I love it so much. Okay, my battery is gonna die literally. Oh lighting. Yeah my battery is gonna die literally any moment so I'm gonna have to do the quickest outro ever. Um, overall I had so much fun at doing that DIY. It actually turned out to be easier than I thought. Um, obviously I didn't show the clip of me painting the um, the letters and that's because I did it far in advance so I didn't have to wait for them to dry but I mean I don't need to explain to you guys how to paint an alphabet but you can do that. <laughs> um, yeah a couple of tips for you guys when doing this DIY um, <laughs> make sure you take the stopper off the hammer because I was having real difficulty knocking those nails into the wall because it was just getting stuck in the stopper so that was really annoying um, and if you are using nails um, if you put them at a 45 degree angle when you're knocking them into the wall it makes life so much easier little tip for you there so yeah let me know what you thought of this diy down below if you'd like to see any more stranger things themed diys let me know and i'll see what i can do and if you have any ideas for other diys in general then comment down below i've got a couple coming up that'll be to do with um some spooky box club diys and um restoring an old um cabinet so those things will be coming up soon and then eventually when it's all done a house tour so really looking forward to doing that for you guys but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was useful or enjoyable and if you do recreate something like this please tag me in it on instagram i would love to see it so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye